All right, folks, we are out here at uh, on Rin Lake. We are in uh, sickness right here. Check it out, folks. Check it out. And uh, we're doing a little pre fishing for the uh, Crappie Masters uh, event here on uh, on Rin Lake. And I'm just going to tell you, they're biting on everything. But I'm going to show you what I'm fishing with right now just to get this episode started. All right. So. 13 footers all day long on Run Lake for me. Always has been, always will be. I've got the optimized sniping braid. I supplement it with a uh, number seven split shot, a 1 16th ounce jig. This is a crappie magnet bait that seems to be working really well here right now. Of course, like I said, just about everything's working. I just got done using that and caught about three fish on it. Um, what's interesting is this, it's, a, it's a slower rate of fall. So, you know, that's a little different for me, but I really enjoy uh, using uh, hair jigs. So this is the Darbone here, and this works really well. This is a, a 132nd, again, supplemented with a number seven split shot. And it's a really small bait, which, again, I probably would prefer the 116th, to be honest with you, but this is what I have on me right now. And this sucker has crushed it this morning. You can see how beat up it looks. Um, lots of fish have gone on that got them in the boat already but I'm gonna take you along for the ride for the second half of this pre-fish and we're gonna talk about I don't know what I'm thinking anyway so it's, actually this other 13 I have three 13 footers Ozark rods by the way they're freaking awesome love this 13 footer and it's not because it has three pound fishing's name on it. So my all time favorite bait, it is cold today. I'm so tired of it being cold, it's ridiculous. We're talking May folks and that's freaking cold. Fingers got numb this morning. We're gonna take that bait off and we're gonna put the carrot. That's the carrot on my website. This is my all time favorite bait. There's actually two versions. There's a 1 16th and a 1 32nd. I do not have the 1 16th with me. I will on tournament day. That's probably the one I will use. But we are gonna do, we're gonna catch a few with this 1 32nd version of it. The carrot on dirty water or the Darbone or the gumdrop. All available on my website. They are my all-time favorites, dirty water baits. It's interesting being on a new boat. Uh, a lot of things are different, but I can tell you that I got my mount modified, pushed it forward. It is freaking awesome. Exact, feels just like my old boat. Now within touch distance. So these are the small things you can request, you know, from Cornfield Crappie Gear. You're gonna have to pay for it. But to make these tweaks, these really small, minute changes on your setup is critical. And I can already tell you that this is the perfect setup. I, it feels just like my old boat up here right now. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to make, you know, the only thing different, big thing that's really different with uh, sickness is that it's a lot heavier boat. So to get up and go, to slow down, those type of things, this is, a, is an adjustment. So right now all we're doing is trolling about nine to 10 foot of water. I'm sure they're everywhere on this lake right now. But right now we are trolling nine to 10 foot of water and we're finding a bunch of fish. Now there's a, on the, I don't even know what you call it, but I call it the Ina side. There's a lot of fish over there. So I've already fished over there, caught a ton of fish. And this episode, you know, right now we're on the exact opposite side. And uh, we are not as many fish. That's my impression right now. But uh, the quality's not that bad. All right, so we just ran into one right here. It's on a stump. I will get active captain going, but let's just see if we can, this will be the first drop with this carrot. If I can do a good job, we should have a good fish in the boat. This should be a good fish. That is a good drop. First drop. There he is. That did not take long, right? That's the first drop. 
with the carrot. The thing is just automatic, man. It's a good pit. This is a good fish. Boom! How oh, can you not get excited about that? This is gonna be one of those tournaments that you're gonna have to catch a major weight. It's too easy. This carrot, I'm just telling you, it is automatic. On most lakes, it is automatic. So what do I think about in terms of tournament preparation? I'll just share that with you. I know that the wind's gonna be out of west the first day. I know that the wind's gonna be out of the north the second day. So it does not matter what it is today, it is out of the north today. So I'm really, now I'm on a, I'm looking for day two. You're always fishing for the tournament days. So again, you, you kind of want to know where all the fish, cause you're, you're not gonna be able to withstand that wind. Oh, I'm sorry, the wind is gonna be high. I should tell you that first. It's gonna be a high wind. A high wind on Rin Lake could be anything <laughs> seven miles an hour and above. And it's projected to be, I think, around 15 the first day. And so you could try to, you know, fight it for a while. It makes for an extremely long day if you if you can make it all day. So I try to find spots that are gonna be out of the wind. That's my priority on, on pre-fish days. But at the same time, you have to fish the other areas just a little bit to get a feel. So I already know that Ina area is pretty much loaded down. And I'm not as familiar with Rin Lake as I would like to be, to be able to identify like small little coves that are, and I just don't have the time to do it. So here comes another good fish. And very good drop again. Yep. Here he comes. And there he is. Quite as big as that first one, but he's a good fish. Not a tournament fish. Anyway, that's how easy it is right now. Drop on him, catch him. Drop on him, catch him. Key is to find the big ones. came off that limb like he knew what was going down he ain't the biggest fish though he marked okay though he's laying flat on that on that limb need much bigger fish than that there's no doubt about that but that's fun this is the type of fishing i love doing got that jack jig you can get those i got those in 30 uh 132 ounce on the website the hair jigs are freaking awesome I love the hair jigs. The hair jigs will last you forever. They use the three pound fishing uh, jigs. So, I mean, I'm just telling you right now, they last forever. You have to absolutely lose it for it to go down. I mean, it has been amazing. Those jigs have just been truly amazing. All right, so catching plenty of fish. I haven't even shown you half the fish I've caught. Um, plain and simple, it's just, it's easy pickings right now, which is nice. Um, I like it, but uh, we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the side and hope that uh, we can find some structure over there. Just because we're anticipating a west wind, a heavy west wind, and so we're gonna go try to find some nine foot of water with structure on the shoreline that's on the north side of Red Lake. So it's just kind of a shot in the dark, but I think that's better time spent than just catching fish right now. That's what we're going to do. All right, so this is what we're looking at, folks. You got it right there. Look at that big guy up there, man. We're going to kind of hope that's a crappie. There he is right there. I don't think so because you have that split that split tail. Boy, I'll tell you what. There's a lot of those guys around here. All right, so I see that one between the tree right there. There's one that ducked there, but there's actually one sitting in between the tree right there. 
it's not coming in totally clear but I really believe there's one right there behind there it is right there at the 20 foot mark and I don't think he's going anywhere so I'm not too worried about spooking him and there I am coming in Got him. I don't know how big he is, but long and skinny. All day long man I'm telling you it's ridiculous everything <laughs> it's gonna be a shootout flat-out shootout man The thing that's interesting about these type of tournaments, we've had a couple of them. And, and actually, Ren Lake is known for this type of tournament where you're going to catch on. You're going to catch everything you drop on. You have to find big fish. Um, it's frustrating. The interesting thing is that it's frustrating because you know that you can catch whatever you it puts in front of you, but if you can't find the big fish, then it's like it's frustrating. We'll do a loop knot. Man, it's a lot of fun. Catching tons of fish is always a lot of fun. I mean, wish it wasn't cold, but. All right, so I've got some different baits made up. This is a, actually, there's a, eh, I want a big old carrot is what I want. I have a close one here that's close to the carrot. I just saw it. There I go with that. It's kind of like the jack. Let me show you how to do this loop knot, and we're gonna get right back at it. Now this is a 1 ounce head right there. So, through the eyelet, grab the tag in, okay? So there's the tag in. All I do is I twirl it around, and that's, let's do that again. Grab the tag in, there it is. I twirled around, hope you guys can see that. And then we stick that right back through 
the loop that you've held. I know it's tough to get the angles here. Everybody on my guide trip seems to want to see this. And there's the gob. And then we try to keep it about a quarter inch from the jig head. This one I did not. This one is more like a inch. But we're pretty fishing, so no big deal. And there it is. And the reason why you do that is so that it swims horizontal, like that. I feel really good about it when it does that, so. Does not get any better than this, folks. Gosh dang. All right, folks. Well, we're gonna end it. I'll tell you what, we've caught a lot of good fish today. You know, and I, th I think we have to do better for sure. These guys are gonna do really good. I think our biggest fish today was over two pounds. Um, these live wells are so deep on this boat, it's hard to get to them. Um, but anyway, I feel pretty good about the tournament. I feel like, uh, everybody's going to do well though. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be a shootout. It's going to be grind, grind, grind. And, uh, we caught a ton of fish today. I mean, a ton of fish. Um, do I feel like I know where the big fish are? I don't know. I'll probably work the Ina side the most, most of the time. Um, I think when the North wind comes, I might be back over here. Um, but I, you know, I think, I think I side, I felt better about it because I saw just a ton of fish. I caught bigger fish on this side though. So that's going to be the debate. Wind's going to tell me, going to decide on everything because a 15, 16 mile an hour west wind is definitely going to be painful. And I can only take that for so long. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Wren Lake. Great fishery. Got to check it out. Got to check it out. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.